So you've just read $100 million leads by Alex Hermosi, and you're asking yourself, how do I apply this to my YouTube channel so that I can make insane amounts of money? When I first came across Alex Hermosi, I thought to myself, this guy's really good at explaining concepts that makes people metric tons of cash. So naturally I bought all of his books and I've read them. Now I don't have a traditional business, but I do treat my YouTube channel as a business. And if you're watching this, my guess is that you do too. So stay to the end of this video and I won't just teach you the concepts from this book, but I'll actually teach you the cheat codes of how to apply Alex's lessons to grow your YouTube channel and actually make more money. Now, before I reveal the number one tip from the book, let me break down exactly what a lead is. The first thing that Alex teaches us in the book is the difference between any old lead and an engaged lead. If we're talking about any old lead, that boils down to a person you can contact. That's about it. This could be a person in your phone, a number, an email, a door you knock on, etc. So a regular, typical old lead has a very random chance of actually being someone that is interested in the stuff that you are selling or offering. But an engaged lead is someone who actually shows interest in the stuff that you are offering. For instance, if somebody goes to your website and fills out a form to give you their contact information, that is an engaged lead. If they get an email from you and they reply to it, that is an engaged lead. If they choose to follow you on social media and you have a way to DM them, that is an engaged lead. Engaged leads are the types of leads that you want because they have actually demonstrated that they care about you or they care about the stuff that you're offering or talking about. They have found you or they have found your stuff to be relatable to them or to a problem that they have that they're trying to solve. And they're considering the fact that you might actually have a solution to that problem, either now or somewhere down the road. Now, here's the key. If you make YouTube videos, then your stuff is your content. But your stuff can also be something that you sell now or will sell in the future. This might be a book or a course or a collection of digital assets or some type of coaching program or some other product or service that's related to a business that you currently have or again, will have in the future. Now let's get to the good stuff. Alex breaks down the four big buckets of types of leads that you can pursue and the ways that you can pursue them. These are four different types of outreach. So there's warm outreach, versus cold outreach, and then contacting people one-to-one -one or contacting people one-to-many. You have warm and cold, one-to-one, one-to-many. -one, one and Alex calls these the core four because they're basically the only four buckets or four ways that you can pursue getting more leads. And just to clarify, there are a ton of ways to get leads, but every single one of those ways falls into one of these four buckets. Now, the scope of this video is not to talk about all four of these buckets and all of the different possible ways to get leads. We're going to talk about the most important bucket, and this is the big secret that I was alluding to earlier. So what is the most important bucket? After combing through this book over and over and over, I have determined that the best bucket is warm outreach plus one to many. And Alex refers to this as creating content. And here's the evidence for why I think this is the most important tip in the entire book if you're trying to grow a business and or a YouTube channel. On page 76 of $100 million leads, Alex Hormozzi says, and I quote, building an audience is the most valuable thing I've ever done, end quote. He's saying that leveraging the reach and power of social media is the single thing that has made him the most money, or at least that's how I'm interpreting it. He talks about how he avoided posting content for so long because he knew that posts did not last. If you went to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and you posted some picture or tweet or comment or video, the algorithm would lose it after a few days. It would just get pushed to the bottom because more and more things were always getting posted and the algorithm on those platforms favors new content. But this is important and I want you to pay attention. YouTube is different. When it comes to YouTube, the content that you post has the potential to be evergreen. And that is true for every single piece of content, meaning every single video that you post. You see, unlike other social media algorithms, the YouTube algorithm is highly likely to continue to push your content days, months, years after you create it if they think that the viewer on the other end of the screen is likely to watch it and enjoy it. Now, I'm not just talking about YouTube videos that are optimized to rank in search, although that is a really good strategy if you want to implement that as well. But here's my point. When you post content that is actually helpful and meaningful to the viewer, what you are actually posting is a lead magnet. When that viewer decides to subscribe to your channel, they are pretty much guaranteed to see future videos of yours. But the key here is to post the type of content that attracts the type of viewer that you want to subscribe. Now at this point, it's worth making a quick side note that there are two main types of YouTube videos. 
there are entertainment videos, and there are education videos. And actually there's a third type that's kind of a hybrid between the two. We'll call that edutainment, where you try to educate and be entertaining at the same time. I'm trying to educate you right now and I'm moving my hands a lot, so hopefully you're entertained. Now, in my humble opinion, the educational style of videos work the best as lead magnets because those are designed to solve a problem that someone has actually searched for. And here are just five examples of some educational types of videos. Number one, how-to videos how to do this or how to fix that. Number two is explainer videos. These explain how something works or why something is the way that it is. Number three is summary videos. And these are videos where you can summarize a, an entire book or an article. Basically, you're creating the TLDR, too long didn't read version of the thing for the viewer because they don't have the time to consume the actual entire thing. Number four is curation videos. And for a curation video, think video versions of the Morning Brew newsletter. You're taking a bunch of things that all might be somewhat tangentially relevant and you're putting them into one place and aggregating them in a way that makes sense and is digestible for the person watching the video. And the last one, number five, we're gonna call practice videos. And these are where you help someone practice and actually learn the skill while they watch the video. So think like music lessons or maybe language learning lessons. Now here is where the real magic comes in. Making educational videos gives you the opportunity to earn the trust of your viewer and then ascend them to the next step of your value ladder. Now, the value ladder is a concept uh, taught by Russell Brunson a lot, and he outlines it in his book, Dot Com Secrets, which we'll link to in the description below, along with $100 million leads, $100 million offers, and all the other Alex Hermosi stuff. Um, but basically, your value ladder is how you inch them up different products and services that you offer as they try one thing, they might need the next thing that you offer and that can help them out too. So the video that you just made solved the problem for them and that solution likely revealed a new problem. So for each of our five examples earlier, here are five examples of new problems they might have after watching that video. They might need some kind of toolkit, supplies, or software to do what they learned in the how-to video that you made. They might want more information on what you taught in the explainer video. They might want the full book after listening to your summary video. They might want more of your curated style delivered to their inbox. And they might want to sign up for virtual lessons or a course after watching your practice video. So once they watch the video you made, which is your first lead magnet, you can offer them a solution to their next problem right there in the video. Make the offer and say, link in the description below. And in order to get that next solution, they might actually need to give you something like their email address or their phone number or some amount of money. Now, the best part really is that every video that you upload is its own lead magnet because you provide value and in turn, you gain the kinds of subscribers and viewers that you want to attract. And if you've made it this far in the video, then you are the type of subscriber that I want to attract. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and subscribe to this video, or your other option is to go leave a comment and tell me how terrible that this video was and that it wasn't helpful at all and you're bored and you can't believe you stayed and watched this long. Those are your only two options, subscribe or leave a terrible comment. And of course, I'm actually just kidding because there is a third option, and that is to go down to the link in the description below and sign up for our free beta of our YouTube starter kit. So we made something called the YouTube starter kit, which is meant to help beginner YouTubers who are looking to get their momentum and get their channel off of the ground. If you actually check out the link in the description below, that'll take you to a page where you can enter in your email and I will send you five emails over the course of five days loaded with helpful information. And now we talked a lot about leads and lead magnets in this video and full disclosure, this video itself is actually a lead magnet. And in this video, I am sending you to another lead magnet, again, link in the description below, to get our free YouTube starter kit. This is something new that we made and I'd love for you to test it out and I would love feedback from you on it if you would love to give that. And again, I'm saying all this because if you got this far, then you care about learning this stuff. And if you really care about learning this stuff, you should check out how other people are doing it. Checking out different types of lead magnets is a great way to learn how they work and get ideas for how you can make your own. So. Once again, go ahead down to the link in the description below, click on that and on the next page, type in your email address and I will send you my lead magnet, which is the YouTube starter kit. And don't worry because if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe. So thank you for watching. If you learned something, I hope you will uh, subscribe, leave a comment, subscribe to that newsletter, whatever, do any of the things, all the things that there will at some point be a video right here that you should also check out. So I'll just leave this right up on the screen. Thank you. My name is Woody. Welcome to Grown Up Pains. See you in the next video.